Erling Haaland is a great, great footballer. There's no question in that. But I still think he's quite raw. I think he's going to want success at City. Well, might it mean he's a little too passionate at times? Will he get himself in a bit of trouble from time to time? Probably. Hello, 大家好，我是门门。哈兰德转会曼城，毫无疑问是今夏最受关注的重磅新闻之一。那么今天我们也是请到了我们的老朋友 Tom。一起来聊一聊他的到来会给曼城带来什么样的转变和惊喜呢？很多朋友一直在问最近凯文去哪了。那么在这里我也给大家汇报一个好消息，凯文近期已经升级做爸爸了。那么他也还需要一段时间休息和陪伴家人。我们一起期待他的回归吧。So you know today we're going to talk about the transfer of Haaland. How do you feel when you see the announcement? Yeah, it's massive. Um, it's the first time I think for City. That we've signed a a superstar player. We've signed some big names sort of over the years, and and we've had some great players at City, and and we've had the likes of Aguero, Silva, Sterling. These players who've done really well for the club, but none of them were sort of a superstar when they came to City. Whereas I, th- I think Highland is. Yeah, very exciting, very happy, and I think he'll be a great a great addition to the club. And do you think he's going to wear number nine for City? Yeah, I think so.、Um, there was there was a bit of talk among City fans that he might take number fifteen, which is what his dad wore.、Um, but I think it looks like Jesus will be going, so that number nine shirt will become available. And as a starting striker, I think number nine is is the iconic number that you want. So obviously he's going to bring lots of goals for City. So apart from the goals, what else he can bring to the team? Well, of course, the main thing is is the goals. It's what we've what we've lacked as a striker. We've got we score a lot of goals anyway, but having a striker there is is going to help for sure. But I think what he brings, as much as he, he brings a lot off the field as, as well as on it, so he'll he'll be a great player for the team, sort of playing football, but also his his sort of his marketability, his his persona. Just Haaland as a person will bring fans into the Etihad. People will come. To Manchester City to watch Erling Haaland play, and I think that's big for the club. He's a player who I'm sure we'll see on the face of a lot of marketing campaigns, a lot of promotional campaigns. He'll sell an awful lot of shirts as well. So, yeah, as much as obviously his impact on the pitch, he should have a big impact off the pitch as well. And we know that Guardiola is very good at transforming the players, and not only the players themselves, but also the team usually receive really great achievements. So will he, or how will he change Erling Haaland? Erling Haaland is a great, great footballer. There's no question in that. But I still think he's quite raw. I still think he's got a lot of work to be done, and he's still so young that Pep has got the opportunity now to mould him into a Pep player. So I think Pep will relish the opportunity to mould Haaland into a Pep striker.、Um, and like I say, I think it'll take a little bit of time for him to adapt to City style of play. But I think、um, once he gets that positional game sorted and learns to sort of be a bit more confident with the ball at his feet and run at the players rather than sort of just his finishing, I think he could become the best player in the world. I think he's got everything he needs to become a world beater. Yeah. So、um, this season is very unlucky that City didn't even make it to the final in Champions League. Do you、yep. believe that、um, he is the last piece of puzzle? In order to lift that trophy, I hope so. I hope so. I think you look at that first leg against Real Madrid. We win. We win the game.、Um, but in reality, we should have been going to Madrid with the game out of sight. So, with Haaland in the team, do we take a couple more chances? Do we put that game to bed in in Manchester? Probably. Hopefully, you think so. So I think you put Haaland in there. And I think you've got a team that are going to be very, very, very difficult to beat. You, you talk about that he knows he's a great player and he's very passionate and emotional on the pitch. So do you worry that he's um um、uh, he's going to get the red card like a lot in 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 the games? I, I don't I don't think so. I think what we get with Haaland is a player who has, as, as I've said before, his dad played for the club. He supported the club as a kid. He's He's got a passion for Manchester City, and from what I gather, that was one of the reasons he chose to come to City, was the fact that he's got these these ties with the club on a personal level. So, I think if you look at that, I think he's going to want success at City. Well, might it mean he's a little too passionate at times? Will he get himself in a bit of trouble from time to time? Probably. He's quite a, a volatile character in that regard, but I don't think he's the kind of guy who would risk damaging the club's sort of. Ability for his own personal sort of gain or whatever. So no, I, th- I think we'll be all right in that sense. For his coming, 
the competition for the starting eleven obviously will get even harder. So who do you yep. think will be affected most in the team? I think the one, the, the, the obvious one is Gabriel Jesus. But I, I do think, as much as I'd love to see Jesus stay, and I think he's a very valuable player to have at City, I wouldn't sort of be upset if he left at the same time. I think for him in his career, the stage of his career he finds himself at, I think a move to an Arsenal or, or whoever else I think would, would, would suit him really well. But I think on, on the flip side, I think the arrival of Haaland will benefit Raheem Sterling no end. Because I think I think Sterling struggled the last couple of years without a, 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 a traditional striker in front of him. And you look at Sterling's career, at Liverpool with Suarez, he played his best football. At City with Aguero, he played his best football. And of course, for England with Harry Kane, when he's got a striker next to him and sort of that that central figure to aim for and to look for and to know that they're going to be there I think he plays better I think he'll, his game will improve as a result of Haaland being here and I think the same for Jack Grealish as well um, The next question is not quite football related so he already has some connection with the players in the team who do you think would be his best mate off the pitch? It's got to be Phil Foden, doesn't it? It almost looked like Big Brother, Little Brother, even though Foden's older, but Haaland's just massive compared to him. But he seems like a really likeable guy. He seems like a very good character. And you don't look at the squad and think there's anyone who's sort of a, a bad egg, sort of a bad a bad personality who'd cause any, tro- uh, any trouble in the changing rooms. And I don't think Haaland would do that either. At last, let's have a prediction, like how many goals will he score next season and what can City achieve? For me, Realistically, he's capable of scoring 40 goals. He's, he's that good a player. He could quite comfortably go and score 30, 40 goals. I think I'd be happy personally with a 15, 20 goal season from Haaland next year. What can City achieve? I think City, with Haaland, with maybe the arrival of a new left back and another whole, another midfielder to replace Fernandinho, I think we could win it all. Whilst Haaland's with the club, Man City just simply they have to win the Champions League. We can't have a player that good leading the line and, and not win it.